drive for you all here today. Looks like we got a pedestrian running. Let's see how FSD handles this. Nice job. Did a little dodge move. That was perfect. I mean, there was no cars coming there too, so it did a little nice swerve. Nice. All right, so we are on some uh, kind of back windy roads here in uh, Arlington and uh, FSD is in control it's doing a pretty good job on um, staying in the lane and recognizing its surroundings also maintaining the speed we've got a turn coming up here in like a mile and a half so let's see how we do so hmm did, a, did an interesting job not stopping for that person. Granted, they were at a bus stop and not a crosswalk. I think if they were at a crosswalk, it would have stopped. See how it does kind of notice like a crosswalk point. So that was kind of cool. Uh, but I did like the way it swerved around the, the guy walking on the side of the road. Because if you go back and see that part of the video, there was uh, really nowhere to walk for a pedestrian and he just happened to be there so all right really nice job about going through that intersection also maintaining um really distance in between like this the lanes i think it's doing a really fine job at that it's uh it's accelerating really smoothly braking appropriately i mean braking can always use a little um Improvement on but at the same time it, it does a fine job of braking You'll notice a big difference with if you're coming from autopilot to FSD. There's a massive difference in the way that it, it Applies the brakes as well as the steering um, And how it uses the speed and adjusts it based on you know real driving like the way we drive but at the same time um, these, are, these have come with improvements. FSD uh, has come a long way, and it's come a long way pretty quick. Um, as you can see, the car is driving itself, and uh, it does ask for the occasional steering wheel nag, and that's about it. It does a good job about recognizing stoplights, um, cars, and it, you know, even like this guy's got his brake light out, it recognizes, you know, the car um, it still shows the brake light on here, which is cool with the new update. It even actually shows turn signals, which is kind of, you know, it works, but sometimes it, it shows turn signals and this turn signal's not on. Uh, but anyways, it, it does a really good job about, you know, showing you a great, um, vector space of what's going on around you and a layout of the roads here. So here we got an interesting merge. Uh, and FSD did a good job about getting into the lane right at the nick of time, but it did a little bit of unsafe following that if I was driving myself, it probably would have tagged me. But since FSD was in control, it, it didn't. Uh, but yeah, all in all, um, it's doing a really good job. It's taken away the, the efforts of having to drive. Um, and constantly putting that check as far as like speed, uh, distance, um, and just maintaining like overall safety. Uh, if you're not familiar, like Tesla cars are designed around safety. Uh, everything about this car is um, safety first. So yeah, it did a, <laughs> a nice little swerve move there, but it got into the lane. Um, and we got to make a left here. So let's see how FSD handles uh, It did a good job about slowing down stopping and Keeping a good distance in between the car in front of me so you know Safe So yeah, here we go with the left. Let's see. We got a car really close here Oh, Actually had to take over but you know what? I probably shouldn't have. That was really my fault. Ugh. And that's the thing with the FSD and human interaction. I mean, uh, it's like, I really wish I just let it go. But at the end of the day, you know, if I feel like it's not perfect. And, 
you know, now I look back on that, uh, it, it would have been fine. Uh, you know, it was just a tight left, but at the end of the day, uh, I've seen it make that left before, and it did a pretty good job uh, in the past about, like, giving it that extra turn right at the end, and I didn't, I didn't even give it the chance to do that, so at the end of the day, um, I still think it did a safe job. Look how it... What is this guy doing here? Wow, so it, it was doing a really great job about getting around, uh, but the guy, you know, was like really trying to pre press his way in there. So uh, yeah, FSD actually recognized the, the slowing of traffic, even though it was the left lane, but it's kind of funny that the truck wanted to like push his way in. Uh, where is he from? That looks like Florida. So yeah, what can you say? Um, when you fight a computer and it knows it's got the right of way, it's gonna be kind of tough fight. But uh, yeah, all in all, really good job with FSD. As you can see, it does require human attention, intervention if if necessary. Uh, but at the end of the day, it does a really good job about. Um, doing some of your daily tasks for you um and all in all if you know variables are perfect you will get a lot of zero intervention drives but i will tell you that no drive no two drives are ever the same and uh the biggest uh advice i could give anyone getting behind the wheel with fsd is uh just be as cautious as possible and uh just be prepared to take over always keep your hands close and eyes on the road so yeah, with that being said, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you did. And uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe for more. Thanks again. Have a great day.